Well, it's, um, it, from my perspective, when we came into this workshop and I shared this with Melody too, I did not want to come. I didn't want to be here. I didn't think there was anything I was going to be able to learn. I've been working on our marriage for a long time on my end. I didn't think that there was going to be any value in this for me. And I actually kind of resented the fact that he was making me come and making me spend this time on this. And, you know, I flipped through it and these are all things I already knew. And why didn't you hear them from me? And, and I was very frustrated and angry the first day going in because I felt like these are things he should already know and I shouldn't have to sit through this. Um, mm -hmm. And doing the workshop was so helpful. I'm so glad I did it. Um, I, I don't know that um, it, it didn't fix our marriage right away and it won't, it will take a lot of work. Um, but it did put me on the right track to being open-minded about certain things, Good. um, hearing those things from, from somebody besides just him and, and not, um, not hearing them from, it, it removed my resentfulness to hear it from somebody else. And also I think the workshop focuses so much on personal improvement, personal growth, that even if you decide not to stay in your marriage, and even if you decide that you have to get divorced, there's so much you can learn about yourself just as an individual, as having a relationship with yourself, having a relationship in the future, potentially fixing your current relationship. It's just, it sheds a lot of light on, on who you are as a person and, um, and, and the person you can become ultimately by just being your best self. Um, it's tough. You know, I, I'm happy that we went through it and definitely learned a lot. <clears throat> and, and I'm very happy that she got a lot out of it. It was definitely, uh, you know, the, the fear of mine, uh, like you said, she was very resentful about going. I've been trying to get her to go to this since December. Um, mm -hmm. When I found you guys and I was doing uh, some searches uh, on Google for, you know, marriage retreats and, mm -hmm. and retreats for marriages in crisis. And there's a lot of retreats out there for marriages where you're in great shape and just want to get your bond that much better. But as far as, you know, rock solid, you know, well-reviewed uh, programs that, you know, are, are for marriages in crisis, th those are few and far between. Um, I think the YouTube channel really helped out a lot. You know, I've read through a ton or listened to a ton of those videos. You know, the concept of, of pies, uh, you know, intellectual, emotional, spiritual. I, I've been working on those for, for months. And, you know, in the very beginning, there there is no difference. And, and, and then basically as you know, I make consistent changes, she starts to see them and I start to feel better in general. And it's not, you know, you get to the point where I'm not doing it for her, I'm, I'm doing it for me. And, you know, I think that's, that's what a lot of this comes down to, but, you know, it, it, it's interesting, all the different ways that, uh, you know, the client representative works with you to say, well, here's an angle of, of uh, you know, that you could present to them to go to the workshop. And if they don't like it, okay, you need to back off for a few weeks and, and just don't even say anything about it. And, mm -hmm. so, you know, like I said, since um, December, you know, and it's now April, right. That's been, uh, five months to uh, to make this happen. And obviously everything happening with uh, the pandemic, uh, we were hoping to, to do in person and it's not possible. And, and I was very apprehensive about the online forum. And I, I think you guys did a great job with it. I think Zoom's a great tool for it. And I think the way that you guys do it, the way you guys do the breakout rooms, it was very, very personable. Um, and um, I, you know, it, it was we, we were able to really get a lot out of it, and um, you know, I, I really hope that it opens it up for you to be able to show this to people worldwide for people that don't have the means or ability to get to to Tennessee. I mean, for us, travel was over a thousand dollars to wow. get there, and yeah. and that's a big, you know to get there, stay there, rent the car, and and you know, to open it up to more people who don't necessarily have that ability, I, I think, you know, it is- It's a big, you know. it's a big cost for people who don't have a specific problem <clears throat> in their marriage. And I think a lot of times when you have a specific problem that's so big that you feel like you need a retreat like this, it's scary to think about going because you might not necessarily be ready to talk about this in front of other people. And so I did like that I wasn't ever, I didn't ever feel pressure 
prepared to, to divulge what happened specifically. It was much focused on the big picture and that put me at ease a lot. And so even, you know, even if there is just one specific, really large, really guilty thing that you have in your life that caused this problem, I never felt like I was pressured to talk about it. I don't think he did either. And um, even though we didn't ever talk about that specific issue, we got so much out of the material just as a whole.